A developing story now on a possible case of Ebola here on the metro. This morning, the World Health Organization announced they expect up to 10,000 new cases of Ebola per week in two months, and the death rate is up to 70%. Andres Gutierrez is live at the University of Kansas Hospital, where a man is being watched for possible Ebola. What's the latest, Andres? Good morning, Patrick. A uh, hospital spoke to him and tells me that even though the patient remains in isolation, his condition is improving. As of this morning, the big development that we're expecting today are the test results that determine whether this patient has Ebola. The patient is a man in his 40s from Kansas City, Kansas, who arrived to the hospital Monday morning. According to KU Hospital's chief medical officer, the man was admitted through a special entrance to the hospital and is in an isolated room away from other patients. His symptoms include fever, chills, diarrhea, vomiting, and dehydration. The man recently worked on a ship off the coast of West Africa as a medic. Right now, lab workers at both the CDC and in Omaha are processing two Ebola tests to rule out the virus as a possible cause of illness. But Dr. Lee Norman tells us that he suspects that the patient may actually have typhoid, a dangerous but certainly treatable illness. Doctors have expected are expecting those results of Ebola by 5 o'clock tonight. We'll bring you those as soon as they come down. Reporting live in Kansas City, Kansas, I'm Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.